served as a very good review of the work that we've done recently in the area of botany and also biology, uh, the zoology part, reviewing the terms asexual and sexual reproduction, mitosis, meiosis, and then the whole process of the parts of the flower, the process of pollination, and following that, fertilization. To review one more time, the pollen that was formed in the anther went through a process of meiosis, reducing the chromosome number from 34 to 17. And it formed four microspores. Each of these microspores, again, divided to form two nuclei. One, the generative nuclei, that in the film they call the sperm nucleus, and the other, the tube nucleus. The process of pollination was the transfer of pollen from the anther to the stigma. Once this occurred, the tube nucleus inside the pollen grain germinates and grows a pollen tube all the way down through the style into the ovary and then up into the ovule, the micropile of the ovule. That's the little opening at the bottom. On the way down, the two, well, the sperm nucleus divides and forms two sperm nuclei. One of them going to fuse with the egg nucleus to form the zygote. The other fusing with the two polar nuclei to make a triploid nucleus. This develops into the stored food of the seed, the endosperm. Now in the film, they mention that the endosperm was the cotyledons. And that, that was an error. The cotyledons, as I tried to point out toward the end of the film, are those two wings that develop from the embryo. <laughs> Had to just fix something there. As I was saying, but as the cotyledons, and the em which are part of the embryo, develop, the endosperm sort of sacrifices the food that it's made to give it to the embryo. And one of the uh, big questions that they often ask, why do plants do this? Well, keep in mind the endosperms, the little seed leaves, are actually part of the embryo. So the embryo has immediate access to the food that's stored in there. The food that's in the endosperm is a little bit outside of the plant. It's nearby, and, and possibly the plant would have access to this too. But by being part of the embryo, it has a greater, closer access to it. So that sort of winds it up, and hopefully we've cleared up the, uh, the mystery of the endosperm and the cotyledons and which is which. This is the night, uh, you might want to know the time we're doing this. This happens to be Friday the 13th of March, and I'm here this evening at school because we're going to see the music festival. Tonight is the All Spain Music Festival. It's the last one we're going to have here at Torreon High School, and the year is 1992. So we hope you've enjoyed the film and this little summary.